Go-Go music, the distinctive DC-specific offshoot of funk, has endured for decades. It makes history, it brings in, you know, a lot of the community, try to get, try to increase the peace, like make it, you know, peaceful in the community. But now, the music has taken on a new mantle, a battle hymn for the fight against a gentrification wave that's reshaping the district. Longtime Washingtonians fear that the district's identity is being steadily eroded as DC's demographics shift. Just last month, the owner of this popular mobile phone store in the historically black Shaw neighborhood was ordered to turn down the go-go. The music he has been playing through sidewalk speakers for more than 20 years. The owner claims the complaint came from a resident of a new apartment building nearby. Seemingly overnight, a protest movement and petition drive sprung up. It doesn't bother me none. I mean, I think it's good. I think it sort of sweeps people up, you know. Within days, the order was reversed. The mini controversy was over almost before it started, but it touched an obvious nerve. I think that was messed up because Go-Go is what we, this is, the Go-Go is DC. It's personal with DC. Is this a representation, you know, of the culture here? It's that real. Musicians say they're proud of the way the city has rallied around their art form. They promise that no matter how Washington changes, the go-go beat will never stop. Ashraf Khalil, Associated Press.